Hey there, everybody. It's me, Hanarumi. How's it going? Um, uh, normally I wouldn't, normally I wouldn't make a, a video like this or talk about this because normally I just let sleeping birds lie. Uh, but, uh, I don't, I don't really know how to, how, how else to say this, but for those who are fan, or I can't, I can't say that, fuck, uh. So, uh, recently, uh, if you've been keeping up with the uh, news, Akira, Akira Toriyama has passed. Uh, this, uh, this is the creator of Dragon Ball Z, Dr. Slum, uh, Chrono Trigger, uh, just a big pivotal, uh, a big, a, a big influence on, on my childhood. Uh, and it, it, it means, it means a lot to me, or... It, he means a lot to me in, in that regard. Um, for those who don't know, which I, I, I find it hard to believe that you don't know at this point, but uh, Mr. Toriyama passed away on the 1st of March. Uh, uh, oh. uh, he, uh, they've already had his funeral and everything and stuff like that. And I I don't know. It's <laughs> when I first heard about it last night, I, I I cried about it a little bit. And then just as I've been at work today, it it's just it's finally weighed on me, and it's cr it's absolutely crushed me in the regard that it really I I didn't think about. Mr. Toriyama means a lot to me, and eh, I I don't know how to word this <laughs> without getting really super duper emotional one of my fondest memories growing up uh was coming home because uh coming home and getting to watch dragon ball z uh my my mother she hate hated anime and my my father was never really all that much around but my stepfather he he really never had anything to do with us for a long while until like we like you know uh me and the step siblings we would all unanimously agree that be like hey can we watch this show and dragon ball z would be on and my stepfather it was the one show that he would sit down and actually watch with us and it, that meant a lot to me uh it may not seem like it but when you come from a, a home where your family literally just doesn't talk to each other like they should um it meant a lot to me growing up knowing that my stepfather he he made one conscious effort to try to be closer with us and as i've grown up getting older he's continued to make that that choice to improve and be better and try to treat us as uh his family the reason i bring this up is because it's Dragon Ball Z, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have been the way he is now if not for Dragon Ball Z, him watching it with us. And what Dragon Ball Z means to me is to get up and never never give up. Get up, never give up. Keep trying, keep pushing, keep going forward. And it I, I hate to say it though the world's gonna be a lot darker with without this without this man a, a Toriyama's really he inspired so many of us uh, at a at a young childhood <laughs> and uh, it, I damn it man we this without him we we wouldn't have the majority of like the good manga the the good shows one piece wouldn't have been probably as inspired i mean i'm gonna be real and this man really did change the game back in the day and continuing forward i hope that we all can learn something from him he really 
there, there's nothing bad to say about the man. And I know this video comes out of nowhere. And I'm going to end it here before I get super mushy and start bawling my fucking eyes out again. But I just wanted to say thank you, Akia Toriyama. Thank you so much. And I hope that you, you can find peace. I truly do. I hope you all have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys in a little bit when I start stream. Bye-bye.